right, so we just got out here. Uh, we're at a little backcountry lake. It's a hike-in lake. Um, had a nice walk-in this morning. This is the worst. I made a huge mistake. We just got out, we got set up, got out here in the dark, so I had to do a little bit of scouting with a live scope to see, okay, what were some good depths, had the spotlight out, checking some of the water clarity to see, is it gonna be shallow enough to see, or are we gonna have to move in a little bit shallower? I think we got set up pretty good here, hoping we can see um, some fish down there once they come in. We were just kind of panning around, looking for patches of weeds, and looking for kind of the open pockets, and that's where I wanted to set up, where there was weeds around, a pocket kind of right underneath us, um, so that way those fish, this time of year that a lot of times they're shallow that's one of the few times a year we can actually sight fish for walleyes uh, so that's what we're doing today we're going to be trying to do some sight fishing for walleyes we're up here a little bit shallower than i typically like to be um, but we're going to give it a shot we're in about seven eight feet of water so i'll be doing a few different things i'll be using a big rip and wrap style bait this one is actually one that i just picked up last night uh, from a buddy of mine named Tyler Argon. He just started doing some of his own painting. So I told him I'd check it out, see what the action looks like. And one thing I love about it uh, is it's loud. So I can really call some fish in. I can rip it around down there. Got a lot of ice crack in here. So we can really rip it around, call fish in down there. And then the other thing that I'm going to be using um, if the, I draw some fish in is just like a clam leech flutter spoon. I really like this as a little bit more finesse for these walleyes instead of like a rip and wrap style. And then finally, what I will also have down there is simply a tail hooked minnow. So you can see that I have that on my JT walleye snare. So that way I can give it a little bit of time, have it be my dead stick rod. It loads up really nice. Um, so I'll have that one just swimming around down there in case they're looking for a really finesse presentation um, with my dead stick rod. So I'll be trying a few different things. My goal today is to catch one walleye sight fishing. This is very different from what I typically do. I am typically a run and gun, cover a lot of water, try a lot of different things, use a live scope, see if we can see fish. So excited to try that out. Hoping we can see some fish. Like I said, expectations low, but we'll give it a shot. Hopefully we can get some cool footage and we'll see what we can find. So not quite what we're looking for. Still fun. There's a walleye. There's a walleye. <laughs> this guy came out of nowhere. Oh shoot, and I think I have a perch on this one. He's just sucking on it. Just sucking on it. There he is. He's got a lot going on here. A lot going on. We've got a perch here. We did catch our first sight fishing walleye. So we'll get these guys off. This guy even had, I don't know if you can see that, had another minnow in its mouth. Must have been one of my dead ones that went through. This guy is not very big, about 13 inches, but I was banging it on bottom looking at that perch and this guy just came out of nowhere. So definitely not the size we're looking for, but fun to get the first sight fishing walleye. If you were able to see that shoot of course it snapped me off ah oh, that was a killer man I hope you were able to see that that pike came up just god oh, dang but of course snapped me off we'll get tied up again here and get back down that was fun fun to watch set down my rod and sure enough this thing comes cruising in doesn't really bite it but just goes right next to it 
enough to where I pulled up a little bit and I could feel a little bit. Must have had just a tiny piece of it that got stuck. Oh man, enough to sting it so it's not coming back. Wi-Fi. Also, I look down. Oh, there's a pike. Oh, there's a pike. Oh, there's a pike. I am all tangled up. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, that is a killer. Perch got me all tangled up. Oh. And I set the hook and I broke my rod tip. Oh man, that is an absolute killer. Oh. That is a killer. Oh shoot. I don't know how that got so twisted up on that rod tip, all for that little perch. Oh, that's a killer. Decent little perch, but not the guy I want. Where did that walleye go? I feel better about it now because I at least have a little something for him to smell. Excited for a 15 inch walleye. Man, is it fun just watching it? It's just been hanging around. Oh, he's still around. He's still around. He's still hanging around. Come on, give me another chance. Give me another chance. He's circling it. He's circling it. He's circling it. Mm -hmm. Not big. Oh man, and he just popped up. Oh, that was so cool. That was so cool. Man, that was a long battle. 
Not a big fish. Not a giant, but a nice fish. Oh man, that was so cool. Oh baby. Not a big fish. Probably about a 15 incher. But man, was that fun just being able to see that thing. Nice perky dorsal. Wow. That was too cool. Man, that was fun. I'm gonna try to get a cool release shot here. And then we'll get back down there. So cool. So cool. Oh, that thing just gave me so many chances. I did have to get him to chase a little bit, and I think we got it right underneath the camera. Man, that was cool. There's a perch on my dead stick. Perch on my dead stick. And another one. Down there looking at my other feet. Oh. <laughs> well, they're perched, but that one wants to go back down. Come on back. Come on back. Well, they're a perch, but nothing too big. There's the first one. There is the second one. One was on the dead stick. <laughs> Not big, but kind of fun. Fun to watch anyways. One was on the dead stick in the middle. One was on the leech flutter spoon. There's something that's just so fun about being over top, even better than an underwater camera, or live scope or anything, being right over top of the fish and being able to see them bite. I mean, I don't care if they're these small perch that we're catching, if they're panfish, um, you know, stock trout. It is just so fun to see these fish, how they react to the baits in real time. If you're looking to get some young anglers into fishing, if you are able to keep them safe and cut a sight fishing hole and let them watch what's going on, man, that is something that could get kids hooked or just beginning anglers hooked for a lifetime. Um, so an awesome thing to try. Um, if you haven't tried it yet, I really encourage you to give it a shot. So much fun. A little bit more work. Not as much action sometimes because you can't move around. But man, when you can see some of these fish biting the baits, something that you can't explain. So much fun. Jeez! That pike came out of nowhere. Oh, it's got me all tangled up. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. This little pike came out of nowhere. I was trying to film a little bit of B-roll. There was some perch down there. Trying to get some hook sets on the B-roll. Oh my gosh. Just, oh, what a mess. Oh, what a mess. No. Oh, he might be going after the dead stick. He's staring at the dead stick. He's staring at the dead stick. Come on, eat it. Eat it. Eat it. He's going to slouch it up. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. you could see any of that on the camera because it was so deep so tight to bottom but man this thing circled and circled and circled finally bit on the dead stick and that's why it's just so important to have two different presentations I even tried banging that jig on bottom a little bit that spoon on bottom and that just wasn't having it awesome not a big fish it is just so much fun to finally catch those fish I saw that thing circling three, four, five times. And all it was was a little subtle difference. It didn't want anything to do with my jig and rod. It would look a little bit, kind of go away. And I had my dead stick down there, but it was a little bit higher up. I could tell when I dropped my jigging rod down right to the bottom. It kind of got interested, but didn't really want to bite. 
So I drop my dead stick down a little bit closer to bottom. So it's kind of that minnow was almost swimming around in those weeds. And that's all it took. That fish just came up to it, scooped it up. And even with that spring bobber, I couldn't hardly tell that the fish was on there. I mean, I was able to see it. Otherwise, there was no way I would know that fish was on there. So it was so cool to see that. Just sat with it for a little bit, was able to get my rod ready, um, set the hook, and luckily we didn't have too much of a mess. But it just it shows how finicky these fish can be. That fish went probably 10, 20 feet away a couple different times, 10, 20 feet away, came back. It knew there was fish here, or it knew there was bait here, knew it was something it wanted to eat, but it wasn't quite ready to eat yet. I mean, it is middle of the day, so that's always a part of it too. But man, is it just so much fun to see those, um, to watch their kind of mannerisms, and just try to figure out what little subtle differences you can do um, in order to trigger these things to bite. And that is a wrap on the day. We are just kind of cleaning up. Uh, we got the sled starting to be packed up, um, marked our hole. Might have went a little bit overkill, um, but better to be safe than sorry. You don't want anybody getting hurt, anybody falling in, things like that. Uh, so we got the long trek back, and then off to check some of the footage, see what we got. Uh, looking forward to it. Hope you guys enjoyed.